Hey guys, welcome back to BA Adventures. Hi. We're in the parking lot of Silver City and going on day two to the parks. So, come with us. All right, so we made it inside the park and got a couple things planned for you. We are going to show you guys how to activate the Red Flanders scavenger hunt, the search for his pants. If you guys noticed in the last video, we show you where the end of it is, but we're gonna see what it's actually like to go through without trying to find them. And then uh, we are gonna go see the High Flyer Brass Band over at the Dockside Theater. So anyway, we're gonna go over here and we are gonna show you where the start of the Red Flanders scavenger hunt is. So as soon as you enter the park, you will see this sign right here to the left if you walk straight up the middle. And it says to text pants to 41274. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to put pants and send. All right. So now it tells us that we are on the hunt for Red Flanders pants. Click here to play. And they. Silver Dollar City thanks us for signing up. So we're going to click on the giant this to see. Oh, okay. So as you can see, I'm going to try and get it a little better situated here for y'all. So it says here that we are on the hunt for Red Flanders pants. And did you know that Red Flanders from Fire in the Hole has been hanging out the upstairs window of the hotel in his classic red long johns since 72. It's been well over 50 years since this poor gentleman has seen his trousers. And we are on a mission to find his pants. So below you'll find our first clue. Clue number one is to head over to the homestead and see Billy's kids in the barnyard. So the homestead I believe is that direction, right Ash? All right, so let's head over here to the homestead and we will see you when we get over to Billy's kids in the barnyard. Okay, so we've made it down here to the homestead area and this is a place where they are doing some um, petting, some like animal petting, like a petting zoo sort of thing. They got a couple Shetland ponies down here and it looks like a couple of, or a donkey is actually in this one, but we found the next spot, which is to find his pants. So we're gonna get over here we're going to scan it and let's see QR code pro secret letter is G so we've got G and clue number two is to knock on grandfather's back door so I think that we have to go to the grandfather's mansion for that so let's go and uh, head up to the grandfather's mansion for clue number two now part way through our um, scavenger hunt we are gonna have to pause and go see the brass band because they start at 1130 and that is in 30 minutes of the timing of this so we're gonna have to get to probably two more clues and then we will um, see the brass band after that oh and to get to the homestead the entrance is right over there so like when you walk in you will just head off to your immediate left kind of down the hill over here by the apple butter store it's back behind it so anyway all right moving on to grandfather's mansion all right guys we have made it to the famous grandfather's mansion which is one of the funnest things to experience at Silver city in my opinion is the og and so we are going to the exit right here and we're going to scan it in just a moment for our next clue people coming out who number three go to the place where it's Christmas year round and look at or look next door near the bridge that hangs over the holler so our next secret letter is letter O I wonder if we're so spelling something G what do you think? O go G O go we're gonna go. we're gonna go we are gonna go to I bet you that's the Christmas store yep all right so we're gonna go to the Christmas store see you guys there all right we made it to the swinging bridge because we think that's where the next clue is since it is the bridge that's over the holler Let's go on the other side next to the Christmas store, since it's Christmas year around there. Ooh, these are always fun to go through too. Ooh. And here we go, bouncing along. Just to bounce in, 
Bouncing, bouncing. What? <laughs> Can I walk backwards doing that? That's for sure. All right. Halfway through. Golly. All right. Miller's Bridge. Built in 1881. Low limit's a thousand pounds. All right. We made it across the bridge. It looks like his Christmas store. Hmm. Oh, there's our clue. There's our clue. All right. And our secret letter is L. Okay. I can't see it. You have to travel read it. along the path that corkscrews through the heart of the city. Hmm. Do we have to go back across the bridge and then take that little? Oh no. We can go over here and do that, right? I don't know. But I th do think we need to um, take a break and watch the show. Well, that's kind of the way to it, so we can go over there and hit it, and then go down to the brass band. Okay. We think we can find it. Yeah. All right, let's All right. do it. Let's go. All right, so we've made it to where we believe the corkscrew in the heart of the city is. So I think we've just got to follow it a little bit because this is kind of in the middle of the park. So we're going to search and see if we can't find a clue somewhere. We're being diligently looking. This is a nice little shortcut like in the summertime when it's not cold if you guys come into the park and just keep going straight down the middle you can take this little walkway around and get to like mystic river falls hey we found it here is the other clue right over here i'm going to guess that the possible clue or final letter might be the letter d let's find out Oh, it is D, so it spells gold. And the clue number five is find the place where the fallen fire crew lie. I'm hanging out there. I wonder where that's at. Do you have any idea? Hmm. But, well, we're going to go watch the brass band and sit and ponder and try and figure that out. Um, if you guys know at this point in the video, go ahead and comment below with uh, your guys's thoughts on where that might be but anyway we will see you at the dockside theater here in a minute to watch the air, air lifter brass band military it is a oh it's a military band this is going to be cool so see you guys there all right we have made it to the james river dockside theater and we're going to go in and watch the air lifter brass band it is a u.s air force band of mid-america and there is ash impatiently waiting to get in <laughs> but that's okay uh this show starts in 15 minutes so we're gonna go find us a seat inside here this is an open air uh theater so when you are walking by you can hear them playing music and uh we're really excited to see what these guys can do so see you guys inside good morning ladies and gentlemen welcome to silver dollar city's dockside theater and now please put your hands together for the United States Air Force Airlifter Brass Band. <laughs>
is the Airlifter Brass Band, and they are all active military in the Air Force, and we were unaware of that whenever so they started. Good, though. They were very good. <laughs> we we wish we could recommend that you guys come and see it, but unfortunately, that was their last show, so you won't be able to see them again. But you can watch our video. You can watch the video <laughs> and see some of it. Um, also, they mentioned a rock band that could possibly be coming Ooh. so that would be really cool to see keep an um, eye out <laughs> mm -hmm. now don't let the sun deter you on how cold it is today it is rather cold so, so cold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyway that uh, the airlifter brass band has to get back to uh, their Air Force base which is up by st. Louis mm -hmm. um, it's on the Illinois side so it was really neat to see them so we're gonna go grab lunch and we're actually gonna go right over there to the Rivertown smokehouse and we will let you guys see what we get so see you over there so we got our food ash got the triple pork sandwich which is right here i'm gonna open it up a little real quick so that you guys can see what it looks like because pictures are a little deceiving in the on the menu so that's what hers looks like and she chose to get the beans because hers comes with one side and then i got tots and mac and cheese with my half smoked chicken so Mine actually does look good. Like when it was laying in the tray, I didn't think it was gonna be that great. But anyway, Ash is hungry. She's gonna go right after this. And then we will let you know how the food is after. Well, that food is always amazing. So good. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, my half smoked chicken is actually very, very delicious. Uh, very juicy. Um, it's not dry at all. I wish I got it. Yeah, <laughs> it's really it, good. It was it's a good seasoned it. very well mm -hmm. also. It falls um, off the bone. It really does just fall off the bone. I just, like, I thought I was gonna need a fork to like pull stuff apart, but it just fell right off. Um, I highly recommend if you are, if you like a little bit of some spicy stuff, the sweet heat barbecue with it, or the honey barbecue with it. It's actually really, really good. So I also had the mac and cheese, which the cheese was like the perfect thickness <laughs> of cheese and consistency, it was very good. And then I had the tater tots, which are just your standard tots, although they did have some sweet potato tots in there. Mm -hmm. So, Ash, you wanna tell them about your um, sandwich? My sandwich is a three meter. So basically it had sausage, bacon, and brisket, or um, pulled pork. pork. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so I just ate the sausage and then ate the rest of it. So <laughs> it was really good though. Um, and then my side was just be baked beans, which is typical baked beans, so. Yeah. So anyway. So we're gonna finish up our uh, scavenger, hunt. scavenger hunt. And we think we know where it is. We do think we know where it is. So it said where the firemen lie. I know there's a cemetery. There is a cemetery right outside fire in the hole. So I have a feeling that's where it might be. It's where they lie. It is where they lie. <laughs> so let's go and check that out. Let's see if it's over there. Yeah. So see you guys over by fire in the holes cemetery. So we've made it into the cemetery for the fire in the hole and uh it looks like we found red flanders pants so to use our new fandangled contraption like we've been doing let's just get here use the qr code oh it needs to see my face all right here we go now that you have collected the secret letters, answer. So first one was G O L D, right? Yep. Check answer. You solved it. Thanks for playing. Visit the new Fire in the Hole photo booth and get your reward. <laughs> and while you're there, don't miss your chance to capture and share your memories. That's awesome. But hey, I think these are his pants right here. Which ones do you think? Or is it these? Or is it those? I think it's these. Uh -uh, I'm these. You're gonna go with those? Yeah, red's a. But these don't. Stuff. Yeah, but they don't have pockets. It's Gold was found in his stuff. pockets. Yeah, back pockets. Does it have back pockets? No, no back pockets. No back pockets, so it's gotta be this one. They say. They say Carhartt. <laughs> so, anyway, these are red Flanders pants. And since we're here in the queue, we're just gonna go ride fire in the hole. Absolutely. So, see you guys after the ride. Fire in the Hole is always a wonderful ride. We're really gonna miss it. Mm -hmm. We're very happy that we were able to ride it these last two days. And uh, really- We need some more riding oh, in for yeah. sure. <laughs> We've got a long time to get some rides in on it. So, 
But anyway, if you guys are coming here, this is a must ride. It'll be your last chance to ride it this season of 2023. Mm -hmm. And uh, keep yeah. an eye out for them bone lovers. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and the scavenger hunt was actually pretty yes. fun too. Yes. So, um, really recommend doing that, especially for the little kids. They're gonna really like that, the younger ones. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, that being said, um, the brass band was amazing. Our food was amazing, mm -hmm. as always, here at Silver Dollar City. And we really hope that you guys can make this uh, trip and visit this wonderful little gym inside Southwest Missouri. So anyway, with that, hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that that you guys don't miss any more of our theme park adventures. So, bring on the next adventure. Bye, guys.